Hello, my name is Kevin McWhorter and I would like to welcome you to this archblocks.com video tutorial on the introduction to AutoCAD Design Center. This video tutorial is going to focus on the AutoCAD Design Center and the way it can help you organize your block libraries and let you preview and insert your blocks very quickly. In AutoCAD it's all about getting to previewing and inserting your blocks as quickly as you can. Design Center is basically a content management system built into AutoCAD to help you share content between AutoCAD drawings and projects. It's easiest way to manage your block libraries without getting into customizing your AutoCAD. This video was created in AutoCAD 2011, but Design Center looks and works the same in all previous releases, so it doesn't matter what release you're on. The menuing system is just a little bit different on how you open and close Design Center. Now, in Release 11, there's a ribbon bar across the top, and to get to the Design Center button, you need to pick on the Insert tab right here, and then there's Design Center, and the tooltip pops up saying Design Center, so I will pick on Design Center, and if it's the first time you've opened Design Center in your version of AutoCAD, it comes up in a specific folder, and that specific folder is the Program Files, Autodesk, AutoCAD 2011, or 8, or 9, or 10, whatever version you have, Sample Folder, then the Design Center folder. And under the Design Center folder, you'll find a set of drawings that cover a lot of different disciplines. There's electrical, mechanical, architectural, HVAC, hydraulic, landscaping, piping, and so on. And these are drawings that just have some blocks to get you a good start with AutoCAD. So let's say that I want to go to Home Space Planner and look at the blocks within that drawing file. So I'm going to pick on the plus mark. And what happens is Design Center expands the drawing file to show the content that's available within that drawing. The type of content that's available in this drawing, in all AutoCAD drawings, is blocks, dim styles, layers, layouts, line types, multi-leader styles, table styles, text styles, and XRefs. Okay? For the scope of this tutorial, we're going to be working with just the blocks. I'm going to pick on blocks. I want to see what blocks are in this drawing file. It brings up a preview bar over to the side, and you can scroll up and down looking at all the blocks that are available in this particular drawing file. So, we're going to work specifically with the archblocks.com libraries to show you how to use them, how they're organized, and how easy it is to input, preview, and insert into your drawings these blocks. So I'm going to scroll up. Basically, when you purchase Archblocks libraries, you're going to create a folder for your libraries. It can be called anything. Mine is called Archblocks Libraries. It's on the C drive. And under the Archblocks Library folder, I have several folders. Depending on what libraries you buy, there are several folders and, to and uh, specific topics of type of blocks that you can buy. Okay? Now, before I get started, I want to dock this Design Center toolbar over to the left. So, and the reason being is that as I pan my drawing around, I don't like to have the Design Center actually covering up my workspace. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to grab the toolbar here, and you can see that I can drag it around. You can drag it to the right, you can drag it to the left. Now as I move it slowly over towards the border here, you're going to see as I move back and forth that it toggles into a outline shape and then back to the toolbar. And once you get close enough to the border that it will dock, it will toggle itself to a toolbar shape, an outline shape, and then let go. And it docks Design Center over to the left side of your screen. It actually moves the command window, and now your drawing area is just the drawing area, and our Design Center is very easy to access. Okay? Now, I'll zoom up a little bit. 
Let's take a look at how Design Center works. There are basically two ways to get your drawings into, get your blocks into your drawings. Now, I'm going to start with some furniture. I need some furniture in this family room. So I'm going to go to the Furniture folder, and I'm going to pick on the plus mark, which will expand the folder. And these are all of my drawing files that have blocks in them. The way Archblocks is organized is, and the furniture libraries is a perfect example, I wouldn't want to have one drawing with just furniture in it, and that one drawing would have blocks for beds and benches and chairs and sectionals and sofas. There'd be several hundred blocks in one drawing file. I'd have to scroll through those over here to find the blocks I want. So I organize the blocks within drawing files. So the drawing files are called bed pillow sets, beds, benches, chairs, sofas, tables, and so on. So let's say that I want to get to a chair block. I don't have to scroll through hundreds of blocks. I can go to my chairs drawing, pick on the plus mark, Again, we're just looking at the blocks. I'm going to pick on the blocks. And here is a list of my block previews. So I can scroll up and down. You can grab the slider bar here to the left, right. Or you can scroll your center mouse wheel to scroll up and down looking at your block previews. Okay, so I'm going to scroll up. I'm going to pick a chair that I want. I'll pick the chair 42 by 40, and to bring this chair into the drawing, I'm going to scroll up a little bit. To bring it into the drawing, you have two options, and I'll show you both. The quickest way is just drag and drop. So I'm going to pick and hold my pick button down, drag my crosshairs into the drawing, and you'll see that I'm dragging the block into the drawing. And then I'm just going to drop it. I'm going to let go of my pick button, and there is the block. Okay, it is 42 by 40, so there's no scaling. It fits the architectural floor plan perfectly. Now, the other option is, many times when you want to insert a block, you want to pick where you want to insert it, but then also rotate it after it's been inserted. So never drag and drop a block into the drawing and then go to the rotate command. That's too much work. Okay, so the second option to bring a block into the drawing is to double click on the preview. Remember the first option was to just drag and drop. This time I'm going to double click on the preview and it brings up the insert dialog box standard to AutoCAD. This insert dialog box gives us options to specify an exact XYZ location on the drawing if we wanted to, scale the block if I wanted to scale it up or down I could, all the blocks in the Arch Blocks libraries are drawn to real world size, so there's no scaling required unless you want to make it bigger or smaller. You can also explode all of the blocks and stretch, scale, and change any of the block aspects that you want. But right now we're not going to scale because it com comes in the size I want it. I do want to rotate it, so I'm going to have the checkbox on right here for specify on screen. I'll check that on. Now, my preview showing. Got the correct name for the block that I want to insert. I'll pick OK. If you'll notice, which I know you all always follow the command prompt for every step you do, right? Down below it says specify insertion point. So we know what to do. It's asking us where do you want to insert the block. I'm going to place it just over here and I'll pick. And then again my eyes automatically go down to the command prompt because I know you formed that good habit. And it says what? Specify rotation. So after I pick the insertion point, it automatically asks me what rotation angle do I want. If I rotate my crosshairs around the screen, I can quickly rotate it into whatever position I want. Now I like to use polar for inserting blocks and right now, sorry, polar tracking and right now my polar tracking is set to 90 degree increments. So I'm going to go over to polar tracking button right here. I'm going to right click and I'm going to select 15 degrees. That handles most all of the rotation increments that I need for my drawings. And now you'll notice that as I rotate it, it locks in at every 15 degrees. Okay? So I'm just going to spin it around to where I like. 
and then I'm going to pick the rotation angle and that places the block. So again we've just covered drag and drop and then double click to insert and rotate a block. Okay, that's our quick overview of the Design Center feature within AutoCAD. If you have any questions, please feel free to contact me. My email is kevin at archblocks.com, and please stop by the archblocks.com website if you need any CAD resources. Thank you, and have a great day.